Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. This is the third part in building the C2 Corvette birdcage jig. In today's episode, I'm building the coupe portion, so be sure to stick around. Also, if you're new to the YouTube channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel. So right now, I'm mocking up different pieces to figure out the coupe jig for the birdcage. So what I'm thinking is having a standoff that comes off of this bar down here, and I'll have this piece that comes up here, have another piece of tubing that runs here. So that'll create the basic frame. I'll build the same on the other side and have two bars that attach the two to make everything strong. Made my first standoff here. It's gonna be part of the coop bird cage jig. Comes off of this bar. I have this one flange on here and this top part. That way it ties everything in. It's super strong. I was just bouncing on this and this is not going anywhere. So now I'm trying to figure out this complex angle here for this tube. And I had to extend it with a piece of cardboard because I don't have a piece of tubing that's the right length. So I started cutting out some templates here. I'm just laying pieces of cardboard up against here, flat, and then marking either side of the tubing on it and extending it with my ruler. And I'm gonna do that the whole way around to figure out the angles, tape them together on a flat surface, and then I know roughly what this tube needs to look like. So then coming off of this tube into this pillar, I'll have a plate with a little standoff. I don't know if you can see on that pillar, but there's a little indent in it right there. So I'll make a piece that indexes in that. And then on the underside of this piece, which is a piece like this, there's these little divots in here. And these were what uh, Chevrolet used originally to build these bird cages. So I found that this one inch tubing fits in here pretty much perfectly. So I'll build little standoffs with this, I have it mocked up here. I'll build little pieces. There's three of them along the, the length here. And I'll end up attaching them to this tube and they'll give me something to clamp into so that way I know that all these pieces are situated in the correct orientation. So I'm really happy with the way the passenger side's going. So I'm gonna build the driver side, connect the driver and passenger side together. And I think I'm gonna have a bar that comes with a T and T's down and attaches to this bar.
So the coop section of the birdcage jig is all done. It's bolted in at the bottom. I have my support bars connecting the two pieces. Then I have this column that comes down and ties into this. That way everything is super solid, super rigid. So now all I have to do is weld on these tabs which grab the underside and locate the underside of this roof section. So that'll help keep the contour, keep these pieces located in all these uh, correct positions. Then the final part is gonna be to connect the side of the bird cage over to this column. So on the back side, I cut out these little plates here that fit perfectly in this divot. And what I'm gonna do is run two pieces of tubing, square tubing, to connect it here. welded in these little standoffs and the roof standoffs that go into this notch on the bird cage and this thing's pretty much done this cage will be ready to come off and then test fit that cowl and that rear part of the bird cage on here and let's get to build another bird cage so i'm really happy with the way this jig is coming out it's super solid it's definitely going to build some really nice bird cages it's probably going to need a little bit of tweaking here and there just to refine the design as we go um, but that's the whole part of the process. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe and I have a lot of work to do So I'll catch you guys later and also if you're watching this like as it comes out Merry Christmas And I hope you guys have a happy and safe holidays. So I'll catch you guys later So I used up all my clamps building my windshield jig so I had to get a couple more So in case you thought I had too many Now I've got just the right amount